Good afternoon everybody. Good afternoon. I am Nilesh Mandlecha. I am a psychologist by profession and I have done my MBA in Human Resource Management. I conduct programs for Indian Army, Indian Navy and Mumbai Police. I have taken programs on more than 10 TV news channels. I conduct programs for more than 60 different companies for management and non-management people. I conduct programs for trade, trade unions across all political parties. For the last 16 years, I am visiting faculty from our management institutes and I am practicing as a psychologist. Welcome for this talk on understanding lifespan psychology or developmental psychology. I am going to hand over now the session to Pradnya. She will continue. After that, I will continue. Pradnya Mandlecha, she is a pharmacist and MBA in marketing. So she will be talking about this subject. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So here it is uh, understanding the um, lifespan uh, psychology. When we say lifespan, rightly pointed out, it is throughout entire life, right from the conception till death. And uh, when we say that, like you know, what is the meaning of lifespan development? If you go straight forward to our subject, it is the growth of humans throughout the lifespan from conception to death. It refers to the development as pattern of change over time. It is not that like you know at the time of a childhood, at the time of adolescence, at the time of adulthood, once the like you know your uh, belief system or the patterns or the thought process has been fixed, so it will remain forever, it is not like that. Over a period of time, it will keep on changing. When you say the development, it touches to all aspects of level. So it's not only physical, it is not only biological, but it is also developmental at the social aspect, development of cognitive aspect. So it covers the uh, 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 developmental at all the aspect level. It's at all ages, right? From infancy to old age. So the focus is on these four right. aspects. Yeah. So when case of like you know infancy. So that time it is we can say that like you know uh, it, it will touch upon physical level development, biological level development, cognitive level development, social aspect impacting at that particular period. So it is true for all the stages whether it is adolescent, adulthood, adulthood or old age. The scientific study of human development seeks to understand and explain how and why people change throughout life. Now your important question arises that why people change throughout life and probably this scientific study try to get the answer scientifically. Factors in process of development, society and the child experiences, cultural factors and place. Where child has been placed in which society is living or she is living makes all the difference. Plus, the cultural factors, if it is rural, if it is like you know somebody is in a city, it will impact and it will differ. And at the same time, where the child is located, place also will make a difference at the time of the development. So there is no one particular scale which will like you know measure the development of a child at a different level. It will depend upon the society, it will depend upon the experiences, it depends upon the place, it depends upon the culture, value system, child is getting bring up. Physical, psychological, cognitive, social and emotional, sexuality and gender identity, these are the different areas where children's growth as well as development take place. When you say the four interactive forces which shape up the human development, development and number one is biological. Biological, when we say biological forces, that means include genetic and health related factors that influence the developmental of child. They provide raw materials, a case of genetic, a set of boundary condition in the case of one's health for development, prenatal development, brain maturation, puberty, menopause, facial expression and change in a cardiovascular. So all biological means it is genetic or it is health related of 
a child that will depend upon the environmental when we say the environmental it could be a start right from the beginning of the mother's condition you know conceptual level so it covers the biological or health related uh, aspect when we say a psychological forces include internal perceptual cognitive emotional personality factors that affect the development of a child and intelligence self confidence honesty and self when we that means when we say psychological that means now child is experiences and exposed to various experiences how those experiences is integrating it how he or she is perceiving it what meaning is giving what is he thinking based on that he develops his personality based on that he develops self confidence based on that he develops his own uniqueness among the society so there are two factors one is nature other is nurture nature that means biological in bed and nurture is in upbringing so from the childhood the environmental factor whatever the child you know undergoes in the environment so these two factors uh, we are talking about so this is nurture Second. and the first one was nature third is socio cultural forces include interpersonal uh, relationship societal cultural and ethical factors that affect the development of child this is important to know that how people environmental interact with each other and the family spheres co-workers and social institutions and culture influence the development and poverty is the example of social cultural forces so in social cultural forces how child behaves how he or she interacts based on the experiences based on their interaction based on that he develops his self concept life cycle forces reflect differences in how the same event affects people of different ages each individual is product of a unique combination of these forces no two individuals even in the same family experience these forces in the same way okay so every individual is different different based upon their cognition level now there are certain issues in uh, life span development before that stages of developmental uh, milestone stages of development that is childhood and adolescence childhood when we say childhood birth to age 2 is known as the infancy period from 2 to 7 years we can call early childhood and 7 to 12 we can call late childhood and 12 onwards 17 it is adolescent period early adulthood starts from 17 to 45 Middle adulthood starts from 40 to 65, and late adulthood starts from 60 years of age onwards. So these are the, uh, the uh, we can like you know differentiate the age and the stage for from the developmental point of view. So you can identify where you are in which age you are. Okay. So all these stages one can like you know study on the basis of the physical, cognitive, and social domain. now coming to a prenatal uh, development stage okay so it's a medical profession believe that the most development takes place before birth many of the studies they support this kind of a concept development before birth take place in three stages one is ovum embryo and fetus so many five factors are considered as a prenatal development that is gener genetically de uh, determined biological variables that is uh, non genetically determined biological variables uh, then child past experiences the immediate social psychology of the social psychology environment that is how parent is behaving siblings are behaving peers are behaving the social and cultural in which the child develops so these are the mainly five factors responsible for the prenatal behavior okay let us see one by one period of uh, prenatal development prenatal development is divided into period of zygote period of embryo period of fetus now here it is period of zygote means when half of the genetic material comes from father and half of the genetic material comes from 
mother and that gives a combination of a new form however it comes from the both half half but still combination in combination the new product which has been formed or transformed that is the unique in the nature it is not same like a father or it is not same like a mother however it has been like you know eventually evolved from both the genetic material in the nucleus of the coming to the period of zygote that is in the nucleus of the fertilized egg or zygote are the materials that bear in the pattern of the new person while who is a different from his parents and yet like the same the first cell in which the male genes are joined with the female genes are called the zygote so once the like you know um, uh, penetration of the sperm takes place and the zygote forms so this particular phase is known as zygote period of embryo embryo develops into miniature human being so it is period of embryo is nothing but like it's a miniature of human being and during this period cells of the embryo are not only multiplied but they take on the specific functions lot of tissue differentiation happens at it as per these stages so in 20 days what happens in 4 weeks what happens 8 weeks what happens and 12 weeks what happens so these are four uh, these are the different stages in uh, developmental stages as far as the embryo period is concerned now after this a period of fetus now this particular uh, that means period of fetus that means it is almost a uh, similar to a small human baby at the end of the uh, uh, this particular period now the most critical period is embryo period because it is susceptible to embryo damage because this particular is susceptible to viral damage this particular stage kidney and heart may get a problematic uh, stage okay it could be a teratogenic because of the viral infection the absence of one or two limbs or severe clef this kind of a condition may happen during this particular period period of fetus at this point the embryo is developed enough to call a fetus all organs and structures come to full term newborns are present and the head comprises of nearly half of the fetus so one can say that it is miniature of small human being environmental influences now here it is at this particular stage when we say environmental uh, influences that means if there is any diseases are there for uh, in mothers the same thing will carry forward for uh, fetus and that father, is what it is means father ka kuch hereditary carry hote hai ko half of the genetic uh, material uh, and the half of the genetic okay. material is mother so like you know there is a possibility that like you know certain diabetes is there okay or maybe somebody is in hiv aids so there is a possibility fetus also will uh, get that particular disease so this is sometimes schizophrenia also anxiety is there okay if mother is facing anxiety and she has the same thing will also will uh, may get a uh, fetus okay certain drugs and chemicals like you know if it is mother is consuming so there is a probability and po- chances that like it will impact the development of fetus radiations if too much of the radiation also may cause or may impact the development of the fetus abortion if it is due to the medical reason or maybe it is like you know certain in india that happens that like you know uh, like uh, maybe if it is girl child is there people may go however it is illegal but people may go so age of the mother also matter if it is too old 35 onwards embryo embryo is not like you know in a qualitative uh, uh, condition or if it is mother is too young it is going to impact the fetal development nutrition and diet of the mother of course this is going to impact the fetal development stress in the mother this is also going to impact the fetus rh incompatibility suppose rh uh, uh, that this particular factor if it is mother is rh negative and fetus is rh positive there is a possibility of contact of blood and there could be like you know uh, chances of like you know a fetal de- uh, uh, you know, impact the fetal development in this particular factor also now coming to development in the infancy ma'am some of the blood group of mother and father don't match the child so why is this so like sometimes the 
So like I am A positive and she is, uh, she is A positive and I am uh, B positive. So my child is A B positive. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's not like that. It's depends upon the combination. It depends upon the combination. Okay. So development during infancy. Now when we say the infancy period, as I told you earlier, that period starts from birth uh, to two years of age. Now this particular period is defined as a state or a period of being an infant, the first part of a life, early childhood and it is the first period of life and it is very much sensitive period for child because child is also struggling to establish himself or herself. This is the beginning period of child and fastest period infant is minor and is struggling for reaching the age of legal maturity, is so helpless person and dependent on others person. The first two years of the individual's life are the time of his most rapid development. Although every child develops at its own rate, each grows up in an orderly and predictable pattern. So for all children, there is some or the other predictable pattern to grow. But still, when you compare the rates, say for my example, my baby, she is of like um, uh, when she was four year old, my neighbor's baby was three years old. Her height and weight was much better than my baby's height and weight. Okay. But now today when she is seven years old, her height is much better than that of hers. So like the rate of the development of the growth differ from individual to individual. You cannot compare that like, okay, aray, meri bachche kyu ne bad rahi hai? Isse badi hai, fir bhi chuti kaise dikh rahi hai? You know, so that will not come because everybody has rate, individual rate and different rate. At this particular rate, somebody will grow faster. At the next particular rate, somebody will slow down. So that will depend upon the genetic factor, nutrition, diet and all other, how much it is activity uh, a child is involved into. Cephalocaudal means, I mean there is a developmental, where the development takes place from head to tail. Okay, and the proximodorsal means from trunk, from trunk to extremities. That's the way development takes place. And this happens simultaneously. Okay, now these are certain characteristics of infancy period and certain major adjustments required to be done by infants. That is also immediately he has to do it. That is one temperature. After because, the birth, immediately yeah. four adjustments the child has to make. Immediately after the birth, once it comes in the world, mm -hmm. these are the four important adjustments. Yeah. Temperature, because inside the womb it is almost 100 uh, degree Fahrenheit and it has to match with the hospital environment that is 60 to 70. So temperature has to like, you know, he has to uh, uh, adjust it accordingly. Breathing, because breathing used to take through the umbilical cord. Now the moment it has been cut off, he has to breathe it, okay, uh, naturally. Sucking and swallowing, this has also had because uh, all food ingestion was uh, happening through umbilical cord. Now he has to learn to swallow as well as sucking. Elimination also used to happen when he was in or she was in both through umbilical cord. But now he has to learn how to eliminate things. That is also the four major things he has to immediately adjust. Okay. So we have already spoken about this. Hazards during infancy period. Now this particular time period certain hazards may happen to infants and which are those? Those could be a physical hazards, there could be a psychological hazards as well. When we say physical hazard, complication at the time of birth. In case of like, you know, if it is at the last minute, like, you know, if a doctor has to take a decision of to go for a caesarean and during the caesarean, if there is any complication happens, that probably that, that will injure a infant or child. Caesarean birth is likely to result in anoxia. Anoxia means a temporary loss of oxygen to the brain. If that loss of oxygen to the brain is more than few seconds, Probably there could be a later on 
uh, development on the it will impact the development on the cognition of a child you know so this is very very important more the uh, time period of loss of oxygen probably it will more impact child's development then at this stage at this stage if there is complication then mental retardation also can happen afterwards so this stage is very important there could be possibility of multiple births if it is twins are there so there is a possibility and chances of like you know physical hazard post maturity where at the time of the delivery or at the time of a birth this the size of the fetus is large so probably could there could be a problem of physical hazards pre maturity pre maturity born infants are also especially susceptible to brain damage so post pre and multiple births and of course um, uh, loss of oxygen or lack of oxygen also will impact and that will cause will uh, will cause to mental retardation as well now coming to a psychological hazard at this particular infancy period which are those psychological hazard traditional belief about birth if it is traditional belief is that that uh, example some people believe that those children born with a difficult birth have difficult mm -hmm. life situation mm -hmm. if suppose such kind of a traditional birth uh, belief is there at the time of delivery probably the same thing will get impo uh, uh, imposed again and again again and again to the child and forever that like you know child will keep in his mind when life is pura like problematic hai yeah ek aur ek belief hai ladki matlab bojh if that kind of a belief uh, parents develop aur ladki ka janam hote hi they are showing uh, negative signs the child will feel as a rejection i wanted i wanted and that will that now the uh, ladki mar lakshmi was so now so come to good to be such way so all these are like you know there there is no scientific evidences to support these kind of beliefs helplessness this is a psychological another psychological hazard the child uh, may undergo what is that helpless helplessness is another struggle for the infant in outer world at the time of a birth infants are in a hospital and under the care of many doctors and nurses if suppose if it is this condition is there for uh, 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 for child so probably that time he believes like he feels that helplessness because mother is away from child no emotional touch for child so that's the re that's the, that's the time child may feel helplessness if you better than in some time of the baby attitude of parents just now we have explained the attitude of the parents may be changed at the time of a birth there are many reasons to change his attitude toward the infant such as gender preferences excessive cry if child is for whatever reason is crying you know, unable to express but if it is parents are showing a rejected or like you know all the time like frowning what has happened to him why is crying all the time showing that kind of attitude probably that will impact on the uh, from the psychological point of view then difficulty in nourishment complication at the time of a birth this will also will impact the child rights psychosocial development at the time of uh, infancy period it is the development of a person's understanding of the environment they are living in figuring out how that relates to them their behavior and others to put it in the even simpler terms it is learning about yourself through your surroundings and other people so this time period like you know child is trying to judge and to see and observe and learn and grasp is what is happening around me who are they and trying to relate himself among uh, uh, along with them so eric erickson which uh, he is a psychologist psychosocial he has explained or uh, he has put forward forward the psychosocial theory the theory of psychosocial development is given by the psychoanalyst eric erickson he describes the impact of social experience across the whole life span and it is one of the better theories of personality so he talked about eight ages theory you know eight eight stages there are eight ages also it is called as 
right from infancy, then afterwards you know uh, adolescent, then adulthood and old age. We categorize this period into eight ages, and each and every age, like there is a conflict going on in the mind of the person. So that conflict uh, he has described very well. We will see afterwards uh, the conflict which happens at, at this stage. Each stage there is a conflict in the mind. So based on this social experiences, based on this social interaction, child develops some or the other expectation from the outward world. Okay. So here it is, central idea of the Erickson psychological stage theory is the development of ego identity. When we say ego identity means identification, formation of conscious self which develop through social interaction. That child or that person try to evaluate himself, herself looking at the society, looking at the social interaction and try to figure out who am I. That is nothing but ego identity. According to Erickson, our ego identity is constantly changing due to new experience and information we acquire in our daily interaction with others. So this ego identity is not fixed. It keeps on changing based time depending upon the kind of experiences we are getting on the daily basis. And human being is trying to in search of who am I all the time. <laughs> so accordingly, you know, this changes. But this True. starts from infancy. So it's a, in this particular uh, theory, there is also uh, there is a part that is a sense of competence. Erickson has is believed that a sense of competence also motivates behaviors, action. Each stage is concerned with becoming competent in an area of life. If this stage is handled very well, the person will feel a sense of mastery which is sometimes referred to as the ego strength or ego quality. If in particular stage, if he develops the mastery on that particular task, his ego gets strengthened. And if it is unable to handle this stage, his ego gets weakened. You know? So parenting is very, very important. From there only we form the belief towards life. Yes. If, the, if the children have the uh, culture or the environment which is highly motivating, probably their ego will get strengthened and strengthened, and that will get they will motivate will get motivated to do better and better in their life. This is that's what he wants to say in this uh, particular this particular stage. Now, also he has mentioned about the conflict management. Those children who are able to, like Erickson has believed in each stage, people experience a conflict that serves as a turning point in development. These conflicts are centered on either developing a psychological quality or failing to develop that quality will decide the strength of ego. Again, the potential for personal growth is high if those people who have handled their conflicts very well and the potential for failure if those who are unable to resolve their conflicts. So at each stage, eight stages I have already said, the conflicts are there in the mind. If at that particular stage the conflict is resolved uh, properly, then uh, there is a potential for the growth. If that conflict is not resolved, then it can lead to failure and that particular stage you know, remain uh, you know, undeveloped. And that can go till the end of Now here it is, trust and mistrust is the conflict. Is a conflict, and this occurs from birth to one year. Now what happens in mistrust, trust and mistrust? The development of the trust is based on the dependability and quality of the child's caregivers. <coughs> now child is dependent, dependent on parents, or child is dependent on caregivers. If an infant successfully develops a trust between the caregiver and child or parent or the child, then he feels safe and secure. 
If caregivers who are inconsistent, caregivers are like you know, आज ये है कल वो है कल वो है तो परसों वो है, so there is no emotional bondage between caregivers and the child. So out of that what happens? Rejection, probably another feeling of mistrust. The child may feel failure to develop trust will result in the fear and a belief that the world is inconsistent and unpredictable. So such kind of a belief gets formed at the time of a infancy itself. In first year of, uh, of time period itself, child develop a fear or that like you know, world is unpredictable, inconsistent, that kind of, kind of a belief child develop. So trust infancy sets the stage for the lifelong expectation that the world will be good and pleasant place to be. So here also seeds of society. यहाँ पर भी हो सकता है अगर वो बच्चे को डबल हो गया बिलीव की at one year of age. Yes. अगर उसको ये mistrust ही है mistrust ही हो गया है कि go back to the previous slide. See this one. See what it says. अगर वो infancy sex से एक lifelong expectation that the world will be good and pleasant place to live. अगर वो trust का conflict resolve हो गया. But if it is not resolved then what belief the child will carry that world is not a pleasant place or you know, it's not a bad, it's a bad place to stay. So that belief, the child which has formed, well, let's see. that will continue at the later stage because this first conflict has not resolved, then that second stage also the problem will come, third stage also the problem. But as an adult, how would a person know that this happened in the childhood because, I mean, one year of age, as, as in just like, yeah. See, uh, you can, uh, one can check from the one, uh, now by understanding of what kind of a culture and environment one should provide, okay. So, we, one can avoid those situations or if it is like, you know, somebody is giving such kind of an environmental condition, that means probably that person will not be able to understand the expression of the child also. Right. And keep on blaming also and the theme will continue. Say for example, if the girl child is born, and the uh, rejection feeling is conveyed in, not only in this stage, uh, from this beginning of this stage, later on also that continue. Then the child will feel unwanted and then that step can come. Right? So these, although we have divided these stages in like from infancy to old age, they are not watertight compartment. Right? They have impact, you know, like previous stage ka, earlier stage ke upar, earlier stage ka iske upar impact hai. It is like a chair, overall ye jo hai na, uska impact. This is the whole Erickson theory. Yeah, Erickson. There are Freud's theory also, second Freud's, there are stages, then PRJ. PRJ also she is going to talk for it. That is very important and we will also understand how some parents are torturing their child. Not understanding PRJ's Un theory. Unwantedly. Unwantedly. Not understanding the Unintentionally. Unintentionally. Nobody yeah. wants to like, right. you know, damage your... Yeah. Nobody cares. Not, not aware. They are not, they are not, not aware. aware. Unfortunately, they are not aware. There was many parents think that if you have a child, then you will have a child. But actually it is not. But what is it? In a very small age, there is no development. Then you are putting it in classes, you are putting it in swimming, you are putting it in skating. It can harm and damage the child. Correct. In fact, recently I have seen my baby goes for a skating classes and one small child was continuously for 10-12 days, he was crying, 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 throwing, throwing, throwing the anthrum, I can't stand, I can't stand. Now he appears a weak child and appears to a small age also, but his, his, his muscular uh, development has not been like taken oh, place. And still, so well. and still it is forcing, so it is going to damage, fracture, yeah. yeah. muscle damage, bone fracture. Absolutely. It's and what is that? More psychological hazard? What you are, you are putting fear in that child's yeah, mind, that is more important. So when he is age and is physically fit, that time he will not opt to do such kind of activity. So children, parents are not understanding this difference nowadays. They want that like my child to, because they have a money, they have a time also. Yeah. Now what they are supposed yeah, to do, whatever they are not, yeah. and whatever they have not done, ah, they, they, they want the child to do. And according to Piaget, not only in uh, physical development, 
बट जो साइकोलॉजिकल जो भी है ना साइकोलॉजिकल टास्क भी था चाइल्ड के ऊपर एकेडमिक एंड साइकोलॉजी वो थी उसका भी एक ये है लिमिट है अगर उसको भी यू नो ओवर करते हैं तो देन आल्सो दैट हैज गॉट नेगेटिव इंपैक्ट ऑन द चाइल्ड एंड दैट इज व्हाट यू नो आई सम टाइम में कभी कभी बोलता हूं कि भारत के पेरेंट्स मार्क्स पर ही है बट समटाइम्स नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग इतने छोटे ऐसे एज से यू नो दे पुट सो मच ऑफ बर्डन ऑन द चाइल्ड इतने मार्क्स मिलने ही चाहिए एंड देन दे दैट कैन क्रिएट बट जैसे वी विल सी द स्टेजेस ऑफ पीआर जे that they will understand more yeah. this is trust and distrust yeah. the infant stage focuses on the infant's basic needs being met by the parents if the parents expose the child to warm regularly dependable affection the infant's view of the world will be one of the trust okay so if in this particular uh, uh, stage if proper balance is achieved the child will develop the virtue hope the strong belief even when the things are not going well they will work well uh, work out well in the end so they will find some or the other like you know uh, like alternatives to do well in such situation and that kind of a attitude they develop in first year itself how has been people have handled them as i said like you know there are different uh, stages we just now we have uh, in detail we saw infant at the age of 18 months trust versus mistrust this conflict was there at the age of 18 months to third year autonomy versus shame and doubt those children we will see in bit of in detail about autonomy and shame and doubt three to few few five years there the initiative versus guilt this conflict is there between the age 5 to 13 years industry versus inferiority this conflict is there 13 to 21 identity versus role confusion role confusion teenager mein main bada hu ki chhota hu you know identity what is my identity sometimes i am with parent call me on ki tu chhota hai ye kaam ke liye par kabhi kabhi itna bada ho gaya tere ko samajhta nahi hai to conflict ho jata hai ki who am i what is my identity what am i supposed to do it what i should i take the bigger responsibility or not you know So that kind of a conflict uh, happens at the age of 21 to 39. Intimacy versus isolation. Okay. 40 to 65. Generativity and stagnation. 65 onwards. Ego identity, integrity versus despair. So these are different different conflicts. And a person who is able to pass through all these conflicts smoothly. the development will be a much better and if any of the st- uh, stage if that person fails then like you know development happens now here it is uh, in case of like you know autonomy versus shame what i was talking about the second, second stage one, okay so that we will see the detail but rest we will skip according to erickson developmental theory children starts to evaluate themselves at the early stage of development of now they start evaluating themselves okay autonomy so, versus so back to the previous slide so this is at uh, 18, 18 to 3 years, three years. See, now so first one uh, first stage was up to 18 months now 18 to 18 months to 3 years three. at the end of the stage young children self evaluation are either autonomous and positive independent who me and i am positive and i am managed or capable to handle situation and things such kind of other feeling usko hota hai okay so it is good for him or if he feels that it's negative a shame unable to go in this world independently i have to be depend all the time to parents or caregivers is tarah ka feeling hai so like you know there would be a conflict say, say for example 2 and 1/2 mm-hmm. year old mm-hmm. child wo cycle chala raha hai ghar ke andar chhota cycle laya hai uske liye aur cycle chalate chalate gir gaya aur mother ka psychological condition barabar nahi hai to wo bolti hai ki tu kuch bhi nahi kar sakta itna bhi nahi kar sakta mm-hmm. tu aisa hi girega ye kuch kuch nahi kar sakta life mein ab kya hai wo ladka bada hota hai college mein jaane lagta hai aur fir pyar mein pyar ho jata hai usse और जब छटका बैठता है तो वो गिरता ही है 
लाइफ में सी द कनेक्शन दूसरे घर में क्या है कि मदर का साइकोलॉजिकल कंडीशन अच्छा है वो उसे प्रॉपरली मोटिवेट कर रही है मतलब उसे हैंडल करने की कोशिश कर रही है उसमें वो सपोर्ट कर रही है साइकोलॉजिकली वो अभी क्या होता है कि वो भी लड़का बड़ा होता है उसे भी प्यार में झटका बैठता है लेकिन वो क्या होता है चिल्लाता नहीं है रोता नहीं है अपना एंटीना दूसरी तरफ घुमा देता है सो दिस इज सिंपल सिंपल जो है पेरेंटिंग जो ये है इफ यू फोकस ऑन दैट देन अदरवाइज डाउट विल ऑलवेज बी देयर सो व्हेन एवर यू सी एन अडल्ट और व्हेन एवर यू सी अ सीनियर पर्सन इट कुड बी एन इफेक्ट व्हिच कुड हैव बीन रिलेटेड टू द यस बिकॉज़ व्हाट एवर इज देयर इनसाइड अस यू नो दैट इज फ्रॉम द बर्थ to whatever we are today whatever psychological experiences we got and that that one that we there is a lot of language you can immediately make out absolutely how the uh, personality is there absolutely okay so autonomy versus shame If I fail, somebody is there to support. Yes. So and he has achieved. So that confidence. Confidence. Absolutely. So that that will give the autonomy, yeah. independence. Independence. That kind of that conflict is resolved at that particular age. But if it is not resolved, then I, I have just given you the example that the car can't be used. Right. 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 Adult, that is now concrete uh, operational stage. Now what happens? Sensory motor stage when child is between from birth to two years. Reflexes, whatever the reflexes, किसी ने मारा तो रोना है, किसी ने हंसाया तो हंसना है. So whatever is happening, absorb and reflex. And accordingly, reflex. Tickle किया तो like a smile किया, like you know. So primary circular reaction is between one to four months. Secondary circular reaction is between four to eight months. Coordination of secondary reaction, tertiary circular. So basically, it is sensory motor stage. It is like whatever senses is gathering all the information. आवाज आ गया, तो ऐसे करना, दूर से लेकर लेकर ना. Fearful expression है ना. You know, somebody is like you know, it's a happy moment, smile, feeling hungry, cry. You know, so. Symbolically, it captures all the information in this particular uh, stage. That is sensory motor stage. Play age. 
At the pre-operational stage, that means play age or early childhood age, it is demonstrated through use of symbols, language use which matures and memory and imagination are developed. Thinking is done in a non-logical and non-reversible manner. So whatever at this particular stage child is thinking, it is not logical. Okay? But it is unable to recall also. So many of the times you will see the child or children, they are uh, mimicking. Suppose doctor, doctor khelna, ghar ghar khelna, you know, family khelna, you know. So that kind of a, they try to mimic whatever has been seen in the world. They try to mimic in their playtime, you know. So this pre-operation. So where the logic is not working at this particular uh, stage. Egocentric thinking also predominates at this particular stage. Children form stable concept and mental uh, reasoning begins to develop. So from 2 to 4 years of children, they form a symbolic reason. The ability to picture an object that is not present. Egocentrism starts out strong in early childhood but weakens.
Now coming to concrete operational stage. Okay, we are through with sensory motor stage. We are through with pre-operational stage. Now coming to concrete operational stage where the child learns rules such as conservation and all. So what is that? We'll see that. Concrete operational stage. It starts between the age of five to seven years. Children thought process change dramatically at this particular stage. Using Piaget's axioms, pre-operational thought is replaced by a rudimentary basic form of a logic. The change is sometimes referred to five to seven shift. It is the time during which the child makes cognitive transition from the pre-operational stage to the stage of concrete operational, from the induction to logic. So this particular stage, what is happening? It is shifting from non-logic, unlogical to logic or some or the other basic logic starts develop at this particular stage. In the middle age, the child was assigned adult status at age 7 when he was considered to be capable of being without his mother or his nanny. So at this particular time, he is able to manage himself without any caregiver support. Okay, at this particular concrete development. Impressive changes in brain development set the change stage 5 to 7 shift. And this is the time when child feel I am independent and I can stay you know, without my mother, without my parent, without my caregiver. And then the feeling with that child that I am independent. Okay, ego strength will develop. If you fail to do that, again ego strength will weaken. Okay, so this is very important over here how he is handling the situation. Now, concrete operational cross model zones, nerve networks, permit information flow from say in case of pre-operational stage, if you show a orange to a, that child, so that child is going to say what? Orange color they ko they ko bolega orange. But if you come to a concrete stage, looking at the color, looking at the test, looking at the smell, he will specifically he will say it is orange. Any orange color dikha hai to wo nahi bolega wo orange. Okay. So this is here it is. Later on association will be formed between the orange and it's a distinctive smell, flavor and it's a spelling also. So more complexity like you know try to absorb or try to grasp at this particular stage. Throughout the development a reciprocal uh, relationship forms between the cognition and brain maturation at this particular stage. Say like if it is puzzle has been shown to uh, a child of this stage. Then either it's square hai, to ye yellow hua hai. You have a triangle hai, to konsa hona chiya? The small triangle of yellow shape there. So that way it develops. Now decentration. In this particular uh, stage itself, there is a word known as decentration. What does it mean? One of the most significant operations mastered by the school age child is decentration. Child in the concrete operation stage can descend, decenter their thinking, taking into account several aspects or event at the same time. Important over here. Is several at this particular stage, this while judging it, before judging it, child takes care of several aspects. Okay? So that is nothing but decentration. The concrete operational child organizes the world into hierarchies. In this hierarchy, the given thing can fall more than one dimension at the same time. I would like to explain this with the help of uh, this example. Suppose this is a picture. The picture of seven people in a group. Two adults and five children is shown to some four year old and some nine year old children. Okay? So, jo char saal ka bachcha hai, usko agar ye puchhege, are there more children or more people? If you ask this question to four year child that are there more children or more people, he is going to say more children. Okay? And nine year wala bolega, more people are there. So here it is dimension is people as well as child and adult. So there are multiple dimension. Nine year child can understand and assimilate that information. Four year will not be. So here uh, dimensions will be people, non-people, children, adults. So these are two dimensions of this question. Four year child will not be able to think 
taking the help of all the aspect, nine year child will be able to take all the aspect and give the judgment. So this is the stage. You can say a complete stage or the utilization of decentration. Because four year child focuses only on one dimension at a time. Play पकड़ के बैठेगा. ये है मतलब ये ही है. रस्सी भी पकड़ा तो पूंछी है. You know, it will be like this. Nine year it will take the shape क्या है, the texture क्या है, the रस्सी है. You know, like that. So here it is now. The operation can be understood as a set of powerful rules that can be transformed information from one form to another. Uh, complete operation may. So in this particular they think these rules include mathematical operations. The certain mathematical operations are com complex. At this particular age, one can do those undergo mathematical uh, complexity also. Now conservation task in Piaget's term task that tests the child's knowledge of the identity of matter. If the child can solve the conservation task. He, she knows that the physical number, number of elements in a collection, substance, amount of malleable substance, length, two sticks of the same same length. So all these able to resolve at concrete stage level. What is that conservation task? We will see that. Which vessel contains more liquid? If you ask this question, pre-operational child would say, answer is C. A child with a concrete logic would say it is same. Mm. Only the vo volume of the glass, volume of the glass has been changed. Shape has been changed, but the volume of the water is going to be same. But just because that glass is tall, a pre-operational stage a person will say, a child will say, कि किसमें सबसे ज़्यादा है, किसमें ज़्यादा है, पर Nine year child will say कि सब में same ही है ये बड़ा है पर water उसमें इतना ही बढ़ता है you know so this is nothing but a conservation task and this develop and the while going making this slide I had this pre operational chart this conservation task chart with me and I asked a nine year old child and I asked a six year old child Okay, girl child, both more girl child. And I got it like, you know, answer there and there it's, you know, I, like, you know, I did, what is, which is the bigger thing and all these things, right? What do you think, all the clay kitna hai, stick kitna lamba hai and all those questions. So, you can get to see a year-wise development. Okay, so we'll go ahead with the conversation. So, we are through with these sensory, pre-operational concrete and formal operational stage. Still time? So, there are many more things I think uh, I'll complete and... Uh, we'll you are divided into two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now I will talk a bit about... We are going to talk about uh, characteristics of uh, good and poor adjustment in old age. This is very important. To understand uh, what are the characteristics of uh, poor and good adjustment. First, we will talk about good adjustment. Uh, what are the characteristics at old age? Strong and varied interest. If that is there, adjustment will be good. Economic independence. Many social contacts with people of all ages. Enjoyment of work which is pleasant and useful but not overtaxing if at all they are working. Participation in community organization. Ability to maintain a comfortable home without exerting too much physical effort. Ability to enjoy present activities without regretting past. Because now old age is happened and there is no point in regretting I did this job, I did this job, I did this job But people stay in that place Yes I don't ask me, I think There are rules and regulations Kabir Saab has said, I did it, I did it, I did it Now why do I do it? I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it I did it, I did it, I did it I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it Whatever you have done, that will also 
I mean that was relative, uh, relevant to that that particular time. But uh, understanding that you post retirement, coming, old age, coming, what hobbies you have developed to manage that stage also is equally important. And understanding and reality. Yeah, a minimum worry about self and others. That is also important. Which people are out there? Stage me, a lot of attachment. If there is. So they, they keep on taking tension and uh, then that affects their adjustment in old age. Right. Then uh, they will go more than bother. Now there is a time to a bit detach. Right. Enjoyment of day to day activities regardless of uh, repetitiveness that is also one important factor. Avoidance of criticism of others, especially members of the younger generation. Yeah. That is important. Else, for uh, because of the generation gap, they are going to like you know go ahead with their life, and probably in that like if any word comes to them, they will take it to the heart. So like avoidance of that, avoidance of a point finding, especially about living condition and treatment from others. Earlier, no. the better, and acceptance is the better. <coughs> Not grumbling about them. So that will. Uh, so these are some of the characteristics of good adjustment at old age. Uh, we will see poor adjustment. Little interest in the world or the individual's role in it. Okay. That means you are not isolation. Uh, <laughs> and going the isolation only. Yeah. Yeah. Withdrawal into the world of fantasy. Yeah, again, that will be Constant reminiscing, recalling past, past experiences. Things. Again, including uh, recalling. Constant worry encouraged by like you know idleness, lack of drive leading to low productivity in all areas. So that drive, urge, that is very important. वो अगर नहीं है तो again that will be a problem. Loneliness due to poor family relationship. Lack of interest in contemporaries. And this loneliness sometimes you know sets into some people you know depression also. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Lack of interest you know whatever happening is current issues not interested. Involve uh, involuntary residence in an institution or with a grown child. Old age home में जाना पड़ रहा है involuntary if that is the or this is the लड़की के साथ जबरदस्ती रहना पड़ रहा है then also that can affect adjustment. Constant complaining and criticizing of anything. Yeah. Refusal to take part in activities for the elderly, labeling them as a boring, excessive yeah. attachment. <laughs> so these are the factors. So we have seen some factors with good adjustment, what the factors and poor adjustment. Now we will see about social myth about aging and irrational beliefs and helpful belief. We will see what are the social uh, myths. And related to that, what are the irrational belief, and we will talk about helpful belief. The first part, whatever I have told you just now, I have taken from a book uh, called Developmental Psychology by Elizabeth Harlock, uh, and this uh, second part I have taken from Albert Ellis Institute का जो study material है, जो वहाँ पर course करते हैं, ये उसमें का है, that is related to. This is one cartoon. इसमें क्या है कि how children जो है बच्चे वो जो रिटायर होता है आदमी उसको किस तरह से देसी इस रिटायर डेट मेंस इस ग्रेजुएटेड फ्रॉम वर्क वन ऑफ़ द करेक्टरिया चिल्ड्रन यूज़ इन जजिंग एन एडल्ट एडल्ट्स एज इस व्हाट द पर्सन डेस सो डेट इस हाउ दे आर बीन जस्ट सो द जजमेंट्स आर बीन पास्ट सो देर आर यू नो मिथ्स और स्टीरियोटाइ and they start believing in that particular stereotypes and myths. In fact, uh, like one example, yesterday I was, I was with uh, uh, with my uh, baby near swimming pool and a uh, retired person was saying, ah, now I got this job. So, let me tell you, this job is such a complicated and boring way, at times very difficult to handle. So, this comment itself, like, you know, makes that, like, you know, to understand that he is a now retired person and he himself is thinking that I am now no good. I don't know you, I am worthless, I am useless. So now we will see uh, first, first uh, societal myth about aging, younger is better, older is worst. This is a myth, a social myth. 
What is the rational belief? I have to be young mm -hmm. and it's terrible to age. <laughs> Helpful belief? Being alive is better. The, the key to happiness at any age is your attitude. So if 10 people are facing similar aging situation, all 10 people will not feel exactly the same. That means how you are looking at your situation at any age, that matters most. Yeah. Irrational belief, I have to older, keep older people can't change. Yeah. Second myth, older people can't change. And uh, I have video just made. This is prevalent belief, huh? maximum. Yes. Belief. Even ah. all young people, if we say, they will say 80% of young people will say old people will not change. Will not change. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, many of the times, what you are saying is right. Abhi the bolke fayda Actually, it is not. I have seen many old people. Of uh, after 80 or so, they have learned computer. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I have seen you know, after 90, you know, weight ka training liya, or uh -huh. muscle ka improvement I have a video in which running race. Mein raha hai. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, irrational I have to keep acting in my old set ways. It's too late to change now. This is irrational belief. Helpful belief at any age people can change yeah. themselves if they want to. That's a will is important. Yeah. It's important that the skill can be learned. But yes. if this will is not there Nothing because of the belief, then, then youth are the youths are our future. The old are useless. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not so much me. <laughs> but this is a societal myth, you know, stereotypes. <laughs> This is how I am talking. So, okay. Myth it is. So irrational belief in that I must be young and because of this myth they perceive themselves like that. No, that is what we are. Because so they what, relate everything with the age. They, yes. Absolutely. That problem comes there. Let society say anything. But whether to take it to uh, belief or not that is individual thing. I must be young to have a future. Okay. Very rational belief. Helpful belief. I have learned a lot from the past that can help me to live in the future a lot better. Yeah. I have no experience of life. Yeah. Cycle me. Physical aging is unattractive and unpleasant. Irrational belief would be I have to look young and attractive in order to be a successful and happy. Mm. Helpful belief. Beauty is in the eye of the older. Yes. 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 So, sorry, what that I will talk now. Kabir's perspective here. So important kya hai ki Kabir Sahib ne kaha hai ki physical beauty se jada mental beauty is important. Because उन्होंने कहा है कि इस physical beauty के बारे में अगर हम ego रखते हैं तो Kabir Sahib कहते हैं मत कर मान गुमान मत कर मान गुमान यानी ईगो मत कर मान गुमान मत कर काया रो अभिमान के सरियो रंग उड़ उड़ जाए गुलाबी और रंग उड़ उड़ जाए आइए कभी साफ कहते हैं कि बाल बिगड़े हुए तो मुंडे सो बाहर मन को कहे न मुंडे जिसमें विषय विकार दाढ़ी मुंह रोज लोग करते हैं दाढ़ी मुंह मुंडाई के हुआ घोटम घोट मन को कहे न मुंडे जाने सारा घोट यस मुखड़ा क्या देखे दर्पण में दया धर्म नहीं तेरे मन में सो so, इंपॉर्टेंट क्या है कि ब्यूटी लाइज इन बीहोल्डर्स माइंड बट अनफॉर्चूनेटली हमारे सोसाइटी में दिखावे को बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंस देने के कारण इफ समबडी इज नॉट अट्रैक्टिव बिकॉज़ ऑफ एजिंग द पर्सन स्टार्ट्स बिलीविंग दैट आई एम अन अट्रैक्टिव बट व्हाट कबीर सेड यू नो कि वो मन का जो आईना है उसके अंदर देखना चाहिए हमारा मुंह वो कहते हैं रुधय माही आरसी और मुख देखा नहीं जाए रुधय के अंदर आरसी है ना मिरर रुधय माही आरसी और मुख देखा नहीं जाए जब मुख ही देखिए तेरे दिल की दुविधा जाए आगे आगे जाके वो कहते हैं तन को जोगी सब करे तन तन को जोगी सब करे मन को करे न कोई तो तन के ऊपर सब काम करते हैं सहज सिद्धि सब पाई है जो मन जोगी हो तुम्हें सारी सिद्धि प्राप्त हो गया है कि अगर माइंड के ऊपर काम करोगे सो इंपॉर्टेंट इज दैट ये जो बिलीफ है कि बिकॉज़ आई एम फिजिकली अनअट्रैक्टिव दैट इज यू नो एन इंपॉर्टेंट वो मिथ है इंटरनल इनर ब्यूटी अंदर से तुम कितने ताकतवर हो दैट विल डिटरमाइन कि आपके साथ क्या होगा लाइफ में श्योर
पहला इंप्रेशन रहेगा चेहरा मेरा बाद में जो उसका एक्ट हो रेवेन्यू रेवेन्यू स्टार्स एक्टिंग ना देन पीपल विल कम टू नो ऑल टैलेंट इज राइट एब्सोल्युटली नेक्स्ट मेथड इज यूथ इज फॉर लर्निंग एज इज फॉर रिमेंबरिंग द पास्ट एंड फॉरगेटिंग सो अगेन हेल्पफुल Many studies have shown that older people are happier on the average than younger people. Yeah. I will ask you one question. You know, जैसा आपका जितना income है या था, और आपके लड़कों का जितना income है next generation, तो income बहुत बढ़ गया है अधिकतर मास जैसे से. But जितना happiness previous generation में था ना, उतना इधर बढ़ने के बाद नहीं बढ़ा था. पीपल शुड एक्ट एज पर देयर एज दिस इज अरे उम्र का तो ख्याल ये सब चौकट है ना दिस चौकट है इट्स टेरिबल नॉट टू एक्ट एज पर माय एज एंड इट शोस आई एम बैड पर्सन हेल्पफुल बिलीफ आई हैव अ राइट टू एक्ट इन माय बेस्ट इंटरेस्ट एंड डू लेट गो एंड एंजॉय लाइफ Yeah, I have a video just now. Must not say old people. Like them, poor. So there are so there is nothing. You know. In fact, uh, where we live, there is one garden, and in garden, there is a seventy-year uh, uh, guy. He comes every day morning, and he has done exercise and all because of that he has made his build so well. Everybody look at him. Ki arey age mein ye. That depend on person to person. Is it bad? The seventy-man, seventy-year-old man is doing it bad. No, no. This is that's an issue. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Why not? Yeah. I'm confused. No, no. no. I had. And some some people they people just appreciate. Yeah. People are yeah. appreciate. Yeah. And at this age, it's very very possible. No, no. Youth is time for education, careers, romance, sex, adventure, and age is for rocking chairs. This <laughs> myth. <laughs> Uh, your irrational belief: All major activities can be done only at young age. Helpful belief would be: I can do these things as long as I am alive. Yeah, one of the important area you know the need, uh, sex need is there till death. Many times people think that you know after uh, some age, ये नहीं होता है, but it is there uh, till death. Uh, I have heard once Dr. Prakash Kothari. Uh, famous sexologist so uh, he also uh, you know talks about the same thing so only the difference will be like uh, at the say for example a sexual act when you are young he what he said ki you can run but when you are little grown aap chal ke ja sakte hain that is the difference you know pure desh par mein one citizen marathi he said samor mein ek bulgi lahan sundar mulgi कड़े लक्ष्य मुला कड़े जो तुम मातापर्ट And living productively, old is being passive, fumbling, slow, and unproductive. Irrational belief: I must stay youthful, or else it's of no use. Rational: How you act depends on your attitude. attitude. Your attitude matters most at any age. Youth is health, age is disease. 
एवरीथिंग अबाउट एज इज हॉरिबल कुछ भी एज का है तो इट इज सिंपली हॉरिबल ओल्ड पीपल रिस्पॉन्ड टू मेडिकल केयर एज वेल एज यंग पीपल रिस्पॉन्ड टू मेडिकल केयर ओल्डर वर्कर्स टेक क्यूअर सिक डेज दैट यंगर वन Young people are individuals. Old people are, are all alike. Yeah, young people so are all individual the, identity. है उनका thinking है but old क्या है सब एक ही सही के होते हैं. दोनों. इस सुबह उठेंगे आराम से काम को जाएंगे घूमने. So that's the fact. Fact है उनका. That's what. But it's not the fact. It's not. Irrational belief. What the uh, old old people think? I have to be young to be a noticed and worthwhile. I hope helpful will be. Old people are also non-conformist and they have individual identity. Yeah, non-conformist means not that they will always follow, you know, conform to other. So they have their individual identity, not they are alike. They have just like young people. They have, but some people can even put their essay or their something. So. so. <laughs> Uh, if you are not going to live much longer, then there is no use in trying to do anything to make life better. There is a belief I have to have a long future ahead of me for my life to be valuable. मैं तो life को कोई value नहीं दा, अभी थोड़ा ही बचा है, क्या करेंगे करने का है? अभी थोड़ा बचा है, make the most of it. Absolutely. <laughs> But if that belief sets in, then rather than making yeah, most of it, living is lost. Living is lost. Make every day as your last day. So that's true. That's true for all ages. क्योंकि कभी साफ़ नहीं कहा है ना कि कभी क्या होगा पता नहीं है. No. Right. Helpful belief. Even if my life is going to end in next week, I can choose to give my life meaning. Yeah. And there is one beautiful book called Man's Search for Meaning ah, great. by Victor Frankl. He was in concentration camp uh, uh, Hitler's time. Pe. He was psychiatrist. He was also so he was being tortured. So what is writing is that, कौन लोग को torture से पाए और बच पाए उसमें से ज़्यादा तो लोग जो लोगों को जिन्हें life में कुछ meaning ढूँढा था, कोई purpose था living के लिए. And what he said कि हमें choice होता है. So that is another thing, important thing. Not you know helplessness, nothing to that. You know we have a choice. Learn helplessness. Learn helplessness. What happens? Some people that is a, like that that comes because of learn helplessness. क्या भी क्या है क्या बचा है life? हमारा तो गया अब तुम्हारा है कुछ बोलते हैं ना आते हैं हमारा तो ज़िंदगी ख़त्म हो गया पर हमारा भी है. Yeah. Give me finish within five minutes. Yeah. Age is nothing but decline. Irrational belief. I must not change or decline. Helpful belief. If I decline, I will add up to it. Yeah. Sex and romance for older people. Oh, it's embarrassing. <laughs> Irrational belief. I'm too old for sex and romance. I'm foolish for wanting them. Helpful belief. Maybe sex and love are embarrassing to you, but to me they are enjoyable. <laughs> How do you look at it? How do you look at it? That is very important. So now what I will do, I will uh, uh, talk a bit about chronic illnesses and the belief related to that, and then I will uh, call it a day. So there are thoughts associated with some chronic illnesses because see old age may illnesses be out there, right? Because of the age. Yeah, actually, this is most people. Yeah, this is very important. Helpful thoughts. So unhelpful over generalization. I take it first. I am a weak person because of the old age. I am a weak person. Helpful thought: My knees will pain. I am predictably at times. I can't figure out clearly course of my illness. Yeah. So this, you know, because of this, this kind of over generalization, person develops that knees are pain or are they? Or some pain? Hey, you know, some of the other pain because human body is so decayed. Who knows? Hey, one day. So some of the other thing will happen. But how is your belief? How your belief towards your illness? So, being human, I feel anxious or depressed. My neuromuscular impairment will result in my knee pain or buckling at times. Unhelpful overgeneralization. If I am not able to control my anxiety and depression all the time, I am a defective person. So, because of that, the anxiety and because of that pain, depression sometimes sets in some people, and then they feel that I am not able to control. 
I emotionally expressive, I helpful over generalization, I am emotionally out of control. My body is largely responsible for my legs popping. My anxiety adds at times a slight extra shakiness. My muscles are defective. Bobbing means lakhada. Because I have seen some people, you know. I am a defective person. If my legs don't work, my life is over. I don't belong to this planet. <laughs> That's a kind of a, uh, you know, overgeneralization they form. I, should, I shouldn't be comfortable spending so much time at home. So, uh, they feel uncomfortable, restless if they are at home. If I buckle, it's tough. I am a human. No one controls anxiety 100%. I should never feel anxious or upset. That is overgeneralization. I would like to be able to handle it better, but at times I am still going to wobble and I would better accept those possibilities and not terribleize yes. it. Unfilled, uh, yeah, overgeneralized people do it. It is terrible if I collapse. Shameful and undurable. Unendurable. People must not look at me or pity me. If my legs don't work and I wobble, then my life is over. I would prefer not to become more disabled, but I would better accept the fact that I need. But I don't want to become mentally disabled. Physical disability, physical disability yeah, but mental disability is also a problem. Yeah. It's terrible that my mobility is getting increasingly limited. So, I'm a person with a neurological problem. I'm a defective person and I must not be. So see, telling that this I have a problem neurological and telling I'm a totally defective person. No, no, other is there. They're telling that there is a problem in my knee. And telling me that there is a problem in my knee. In fact, if there is a belief in this way, then you will notice that probably while getting up and all, probably they might not be feeling that much painful, but they verbalize. Aga, aiga, 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 aiga. Aga, aiga, 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 aiga. And so the mental, because of the deceit, mentally they are... And the message goes to your subconscious. Yeah. Pain will be this much, but they may terribleize also. Sometimes if attention is not given, then that can be attention seeking also. If others equate my entire value with my physical defects, they are prejudiced. Others must not view me as a defective and it's a terrible if they do so. So now we will stop here. There are issues related to health anxiety. I will not talk about that because there are several slides. I will end, you know, after the old age, you know, life ends. Or when life is finished, then the Kabir has said that all these are the murders. I mean, as it happens, it means that we are the murders. That's why they say, Hai sadhu, ye murdo ka ga. Ye murdo ka ga. पीर मरे पे गंबर मर गए पीर मरे पे गंबर मर गए मर गए जिंदा जोगी राजा मर गया परजा मर गए राजा भी मर गया परजा मर गई राजा मर गया परजा मर गई मर गए बेदर रोगी ये मुर्दो का गांव ऐसा ये मुर्दो का गांव